Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to go do some footage uh, and go over the uh, Snapper 360Z. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and offload it and uh, we'll do a little bit of cutting and uh, sorry. And we'll go over some things I do like and some things I don't like about this unit. So uh, stay tuned.
sorry guys you guys just saw uh did some mowing uh this yard looks great um it's it's a bunch of weeds um there's a uh, big leaves coming down from, for the fall here uh it's getting towards the end of the season why i wanted to go ahead and do this video um wanted to go over to snapper how it's been for the last uh i want to say just a month and a half or two months that i've had this now uh it's been phenomenal no issues at all with it um i haven't even sharpened the, sharpened the blades yet um and it's still cutting phenomenal so um the blade tip speed on this is just absolutely uh blew my mind so very happy with that uh, the arians that i came from um even with with fresh blades it would still uh leave some uh, leave some grass uh standing up and especially the hay uh, seed pods and stuff so um with this it doesn't do that i don't have that issue at all so uh one of the things that uh, i kind of wanted to point out that, that are some of the cons that i don't like is uh the deck um is about the same width actually as the wheel <clears throat> so i'm finding that going around these pavers uh i'm either hitting them or i can't get close enough to them uh that uh you know cuts it efficiently so i do have to go back around to a lot more stuff uh and uh weedy uh, not a big deal uh just i didn't have to do that with the arians it seems that i'm having to do that more with this uh which leads me to the next thing is is uh because this is the same width as the rear tire and this is your cutting edge um i'm hitting um pavers uh, so I am trying to get too close, and I'll end up hitting them, knocking them over, getting them out of proportion and stuff. So uh, that's been an issue. Uh, but other than that, that's that's one of the cons um, that I've uh, that I've seen. Um, pros, I mean, the, the fuel on this. I think I've only, I mean, I've had this thing for, uh, like I said, two and a half or, or one and a half, two months or so here. I think I've only filled this thing up completely, uh, maybe three times, uh, if that. So, uh, efficient-wise, it has definitely cut uh, the mowing times down on all my clients that have been using the rider uh, down tremendously. Uh, so, I'm, I'm saving in fuel-wise there. So, guys, if you're looking for something uh, to save on fuel and time, I would definitely suggest going with Zero Turn. I know one of the, uh, my viewers uh, stated he, he enjoys seeing a fellow lawn care guy that uses the lawn tractor and i did have to break the news to him that uh up until just recently uh, i will i did and then upgraded to a zero turn so uh, so i'm saving fuel which is absolutely great uh, you can kind of see there it's getting a little bit low so it needs to be filled up actually now so i do not have to fill up all the time <clears throat> um probably uh, one of the biggest cons or another big con that I hate uh, on this is the flap. Uh, there's no way to lock it in the upright position. Uh, I'm used to commercial mowers that have the uh, metal chute that you can flip up and it lays flat onto the deck. Uh, with this being a commute consumer model, I'm not able to do that and I'm not able to uh, keep it uh, in the upright position. And because I do have a 5x10 trailer, that flap does um right up on the top of the rails you guys may have seen in the video this should actually be a little bit down more but because it's it's in the upright position on the trailer it's actually riding up a little bit so that's kind of a downer for uh, me it, it's a personal preference i guess um that it, that's that's doing that so next con that i kind of have with this and uh, I'm really basing this off of um, uh, commercial mowers that I've ran, my other agencies and, and other line of work. Uh, that would be uh, this uh, system here. Uh, fortunately, you do have to, currently it's in the, let me go ahead and put a, pull the deck up. So it, just, it automatically locks. So this is your deck lock lever. And you would think you can just, you know, pull it. No or push it all the way up over nope it's not moving you can kind of see right here that's this that's the deck lever and with my push and my foot pushing that all the way down it's not um 
you gotta let it slide over. So you have to be like about halfway, I guess, or a quarter of the way, and it slides over. See that deck lever? And now it's in the down position. So, uh, painting the butt, uh, I am six foot two, six foot three, and um, that's probably just, I'm too darn tall for this machine. Um, but that's kind of annoyance that I do have that I have to kind of finagle that <clears throat> foot deck assist, foot deck lift assist a little bit to get the uh, the unlocking deck and stuff. Um, let's see, it's got 8.8 uh, .8 hours on it, so I do do for the eight hour um, oil change. I haven't done that yet. It was winding down to, for the season, uh, even though it's Florida, we're still winding down. Uh, we're still mowing, but we're still we're winding down. Uh, probably the only thing next that would be here is the startup. It does seem to uh, take forever to start out, and it probably when it's cold, it seems to not want to fire up. Uh, even with the choke on, with it kind of set halfway or even quarter way, uh, it, it, it doesn't want to fire. It'll just turn, turn, turn. Then you have to push the choke down either mess with this and then it will fire up and it seems to uh, puff a, lo a little bit of uh, black smoke that uh, I, I really don't like or it just look, doesn't look right to me but uh, again it's my first Kawasaki so I may not be used to it uh, and then finally the last con that I have is this right here this is your parking brake it's in the set position and I'll, uh, I'll show you why I don't like it here in a second so that so that's your parking brake and what happens on the trailer uh, when you're transporting it is this thing kind of gets wobbled around and then boop and now this thing is um, not no longer um, you can see I'm pushing around and it does that on the trailer uh, it doesn't have a dedicated parking brake uh, le lever uh, so that's kind of probably my biggest complaint snapper uh, that uh, there's no designated um, parking lever, uh, parking brake lever. Um, this is a good design. It's great if you're, you know, uh, leaving in your garage. You, those you guys that you know, obviously this is a consumer, and I have to remember that. Uh, but for even if you have to transport this to the dealer to get something worked on, you know that thing's going to be jumping around, and uh, it is going to move around on you. So uh, luckily, no damage. To the mower a um, little bit of damage I do have was back here I'll zoom in for you um, that is if you guys saw my previous videos my 2018 lawn setup or new 2018 lawn setup uh, that was from the Toro it was uh, set up in a bad spot and I should have moved it but uh, so that's the only damage that's happened to but that's not from the parking brake issue so let me go ahead and show you why or what I had to do to the trailer to accommodate the uh, the new snapper. So hold on tight. So as you guys remember in my uh, trailer setup video, um, this two these two pieces of wood I point to them. This one and this one have uh, pretty much been there ever since I've gotten the rider. As you can see, the wheel uh, sits in here and and it kind of is a wheel chock. Those are uh, screwed in. So I did that with the uh, snapper and it worked okay until the parking brake decided to start moving around on me having issues with the parking brake uh and it kept doing it kept doing it and finally you know actually you can probably see just a little bit of red that may have transferred onto the trailer i'm not sure if that's from the snapper i'm sure it is but um i had to add this piece and uh that kind of makes it a C. and the front uh, tires are no longer uh, moving around so it's not shifting around as much so hope you guys liked the video uh, hope you guys liked the review of the snapper 360 z 2018 42 inch cot it's been a great mower i cannot complain and i look forward to many more years with it like subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one